Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in the Safari Zone of Zoodesia Zoo! And this place is finally ready for animals! Today we are going to be adding in several animals into the beautiful Safari Zone, including some of the beautiful giraffes that have been over in the giraffe corral for quite some time now, and the many animals that we have traded to Farmer Gerald, or I should say from Farmer Gerald, in exchange for all of the domestic animals that we have plucked out from the safari zone and have turned over to him to find an even more appropriate home and I'm very excited because we have done so much work to get this ready we have built the fences we have got the path up and going we even made an entire exhibit dedicated to those acacia ants and we have the entire zookeeper station I'm really happy about that station too I think it's going to be very important for the resources we need to take care of this area but for the most part I think that this place is good to go we can start adding in the animals we can let out some of the giraffes from their giraffe corral so that they can wander around here in the big safari zone we can go on an elephant safari pretty soon to go and gather up some of the elephants that may be in some spots that maybe aren't the best for them to be in we can also bring over some of the gems box that we have traded the deer to farmer gerald for as well as the wild boars oh i guess <gasps> you guys we probably need names for all of these little ones. Oh goodness, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe kind of dizzy. <laughs> but we probably need some names for all of the animals that we'll be adding into the safari zone as well. So speak up, speak up now, and we will add your guys' names to a big list to hopefully be able to give everybody here a little bit of a pinch of personality. I know I'm gonna be really excited to see what the giraffes are gonna do once we release them from the giraffe corral. Not all of them will be released. Some of them are in there for research and study and their own protection. Ooh, and we just got a little dead leaf pile from the termite mound here. Very nice, very nice indeed. All right, Lily Tate, you guys doing okay? Yeah, they've got enough food. But I'm very excited to start releasing some of the drafts and to add in the gems box, which uh, we haven't really studied before. But we're going to hold off on really diving into the depths of the biology of the different animals that we add in for later. Because right now, I just want to focus on adding the animals in, making sure that it's safe for them, making sure they're not going to like walk into anything that could get them hurt. Like this plant, this is a little devil shoestring. Is this safe for them? Let me let me try again. All right, let's see. Yep, savanna plant. You can make it into yellow dye. It should be okay. It doesn't have anything that's prickly. It doesn't have anything that should hurt them. Can the animals? Oh, they can walk out from over here. <gasps> see? All right, final preparation pieces to make sure that the animals would be okay. Let me go ahead, pull that back too. Good job, Lily. Good job, Tate. All right, and I think they'll be okay wandering into this little pond. That shouldn't hurt them. If it does hurt them, like if they wander up under the fence, then I will definitely fix that. But I think that they should be safe, even with the fence area like that. So, wonderful! We're ready to start! We can start adding in some of the animals to the safari zone! Finally! Working with the actual animals in our zoo! Oh, thank goodness! There's always so much to do in the zoo, but the whole point of coming here is to learn about the animals and to really admire their beauty, as well as make some delicious salad bars pretty soon. All right, so what do we have to add into the safari zone as it stands without studying the safari or the uh, stasis chamber for any safari animals that we may have back at home? And we may already have quite a few elephants and zebra waiting for us back at our house. So we may go back to the house today and we may dig around in our safari. Uh, or why am I calling it safari? In the stasis chamber and see if we have any safari animals waiting for us there. So right now we have three certificates for wildebeest. We need to wait just a little bit longer to be able to see if we can get those guys so farmer gerald is going to be giving us those ones in the future we also have some jim's bach which we can add in and trade for a bunch of the deer that he has released into his woods and we have several wild boars so let's go ahead and start with the wild boars to see what they think of the area and then we'll release the jim's bach and then we'll really get to celebrating by releasing the giraffes and hopefully the giraffes will have a really fun time here. And uh, you know what? Let's grab some of the acacia saplings. Because I think sprinkling some of the acacia saplings around the safari zone will really help give it a very special feel. There we go. I'll put those down. Oh, I also brought home a bone. I dropped off the chickens that we found inside the safari zone to my chicken coop back at home. And now I have a little bone. So let's actually take care of our puppies really quickly. Let's get a block of iron. There we go. There's that. And I need to grab the bone. 
And ta-da! Now we have a food bowl for the puppies! That way they can get plenty of food. I'm going to put it right over here. And then I'm going to fill it up with some of their dog food from the doggy daycare. The chicken salad and bacon bits. That sounds like a really good food for our puppies. All right, and that should take care of them. Lily, Tate! If you do come on over here instead of like jump outside of the fence, oh gosh, you guys are just so silly, then they should hopefully be fed. And we'll we'll go ahead and shear those sheep in a little bit. We're just keeping them there to gather up all of the materials that we're going to need to make the tents so that we have somewhere for all of the visitors to the safari zone to go. Um, and I'm going to throw these in here and let's go and put the acacia saplings and the wild boars into the safari zone. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Both the plants and the animals, actually. I really love these acacia trees. They're quite beautiful. And I think sprinkling several of them around is going to be a better option than having it so that there's the giant termite mound again. Oh, what was that? Do we have a stray animal? Oh, it's a little mouse. You know what? I'm okay with a mouse being in the area. Hopefully, uh, of course, it's just an urban legend that the elephants would be scared by mice, but hopefully the elephants will be fine with it. All right, we'll sprinkle a few more acacia trees around. Hopefully those will grow very well. There we go. There's some wild gourds that we might want to keep an eye on. And I think that should be good. So we'll see how those acacia trees do. And let's release the wild boars. I'm really excited about this. Guy. Oh my gosh, my very first Safari Zone resident. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. All right, go forth little wild boars. Go forth, maybe have some more wild boar babies. That would be really adorable to see actually. All right, so there we go, four wild boars. Don't really make a dent on this gigantic space actually. This is gonna be so awesome to add in all the other animals. There's so much room here. Okay, let's put away these safari nuts and then let's climb up on top of a tree for just a second. See what the wild boars are doing and eat some of the apricot bite safari salads. A little preview of the delicious salad bar that we will eventually build build here in the safari zone. Sorry if I sound a little bit weird, by the way. I have an ear infection and it's throwing me off and making all of my words sound very odd. So I'm probably, I probably sound ridiculous right now, but I apologize for that. I'm feeling well enough that we can add in the gym spot and we can kind of keep an eye on everybody. Wow. This area is huge! Adding in a few wild boars doesn't really do anything whatsoever to this gigantic zone. And I think I kind of want to take down this tree too. I feel like it's just a little bit big for what we're going for to be able to see around everything in the safari zone. So take down that tree. And yeah, you really can't tell much about the wild boars. I definitely need to put some lookouts on the other side. Like we can make little lookouts that guests can climb up and be able to view further into the exhibit because even just right here, it's a little bit hard to see all of them. All right, so I know we have four wild boars in here somewhere. Let's go ahead and get the gems back out. Maybe we'll be able to see them a little bit better. And then we can start moving some of the giraffes in. I'm so excited. Oh, and maybe we could do some zookeeper work in order to earn credit so that we can start breeding up our little giraffes. Though I think next time we need to start a big expedition safari to go collect some elephants from biomes that may not be the best for them. We won't pluck any elephants out of biomes that they seem really happy in, but sometimes we'll stumble on elephants stuck in quicksand or stuck inside of tar pits out in the world. And it's been a long time since we've taken our chocobos out and just flown across the wilderness, searching for animals and plants and all sorts of specimens to bring home. So I would love to do that too. <gasps> Look at our little wild boars go. All right, so now it's time to add in the gems box. Dun, dun, da dun. Oh my gosh, they look awesome. They look so awesome. Look at them. This is gonna be fantastic, I can't wait. Okay, okay, so we've got the gems walk, we've got the wild boars, we have the certificates for the wildebeest eventually. It's gonna be a little bit before we manage to get those guys. Let's go see if we can bring in any of the giraffes. Oh, there's a chicken! What are you doing over here, chicken? Oh gosh, and one of the guests just donated me a coin because of our chicken, that's adorable. All right, I'm gonna put the chicken away and let's go ahead and start transferring some of the giraffes out of the giraffe research area into the over, why do I have so many chickens? I have so many chickens in my giraffe exhibit. Okay, something, something silly has happened here. Something very silly has happened here. I think somebody has chickened me. Somebody has indeed chickened my giraffe barn. This is hilarious. 
I definitely need to collect these chickens because they were not here before. And this guest has once again... I need security. She has once again pushed her way in. You're not supposed to be in here, ma'am. You're supposed to be on the other side. Unless you're like a certified zookeeper. Please. Please. Please get out of my exhibit. Uh, we'll have to push her out in a little bit. But let's bring over Kizzy. So Kizzy's going to come out into our safari zone. And then let's bring out... You don't have a name. Interesting. These two don't have a name. Let's go pick some names out of the name tag drawer. We do have a drawer that is dedicated to keeping some of the super amazing giraffe names you guys have suggested. And we will be naming the baby giraffe. I do believe that April's baby boy finally has his name. And I definitely have been chickened. There's so many chickens everywhere. What is this? Tate, good boy herding all the chickens. Herd them into a little corner and we'll try to move them um, maybe to the meadow of horses. Look at him. He is being such a good boy and herding those chickens. That's awesome. All right. So yeah, definitely have been chickened. Somebody has brought chickens in, but I'm pretty sure that May has actually had her baby named recently and we do want to hold a live stream where hopefully you guys will be able to help me name this adorable little baby boy. I haven't named him yet, even though you guys have suggested so many amazing names because I wanted to make a really fun list and then name him on the live stream. Now that the traveling is starting to ease up, at least until Chips and I move to Taiwan for the summer, hopefully that will be easier to do. So keep your eyes peeled for some really exciting live streams showing up before the end of May. And, and not not the end of you, May. You're, you're fine. You're going to live a very wonderful long life here in the zoo. All right, so let's see. I'm going to get at least a few more giraffes. Let's take out at least five, maybe six giraffes just to start wandering around the area. And I guess I'll have to leave the chicken here and just accept that I'm gonna have to come back and collect all these chickens up. Somebody has definitely chickened me and I suspect Ben. All right, we'll get Safflower and Vinci and Lori and Indigo and let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five. We'll get one more giraffe, I think. We have a lot more giraffes than I remember. Oh, hello. Hello, Miss Block Block. All right, we'll take care of you in the future too. There's tons of ox peckers around the area as well. And then we'll get Kearney as our last giraffe. There we go. Come on, Kearney. There we go. All right. Let's wiggle this way. I can't believe I have so many chickens. <laughs> I'm going to have to do something with them. Hang in there, little one. Eventually, I will bring you back to my home. All right. And let's head out. Dun, dun, dun. Giraffes. So we're going to release the giraffes. Look at the gems, Buck. You guys, our safari zone is actually coming together. Just imagine the amazing expedition we might be able to go on. What if we find new plants to be able to bring over here? What if we find new animals to be able to bring in? Oh, this area is going to be amazing. What if we find zebra? Ooh, that acacia tree just grew while we were looking at it. That was fantastic. Oh, this is going to be perfect. All right, let's put the giraffes kind of in the middle, I think. So we'll start over here. And giraffes are usually in herds, so let's see, we'll put three of them over here. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. <gasps> oh, look, and there's the little mouse, and there's the wild boar. This is gonna be awesome. And the gems book, the gems book. Is everybody okay? I thought I heard somebody get hurt, but everything, everybody seems okay, good. All right, and we'll put down another giraffe. So there's all of my giraffes. Let me put these safari nets away. Look how many safari nets we have now that we're not full of little ants and all sorts of random animals we've collected from this area. And then let's come back and admire our work. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The giraffes wandering around. The gems buck. It's just so picturesque. And the acacia trees are just growing while we watch. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Look at those gems, Bok. Look at those wild boars. But I have to admit, seeing a few elephants, and I have a lot of giraffes. I wonder if I should actually offer some of the giraffes in trade to the other zoos. That'd probably be a good idea. Start sharing a few more animals with the zoo crafters. But let's see. I definitely think... Some zebra and ostrich would go really, really well in here. And I also think that adding in some elephants would be fantastic. So speaking of ostrich, Lily, let's go ahead and see if I can get my paws on some ostrich eggs back over in the egg research center. Because this is, this is really fantastic. That was super easy. Once we get the whole exhibit laid out, we put the fence up, we just add the animals in, step back, and it becomes a gorgeous living multi-species exhibit. And I may have to watch out for the tall bushes because it seems like the gyms walk like to walk on them. As long as they don't fall and hurt themselves, it should be okay. Oh, and there's another bunny. Hi, little guy. I know exactly who I want to give you to. Let me go ahead and put that bunny away. 
I really do think I may save some of these adorable bun buns for certain eros. There we go. And I'm gonna put the little bunny away and let me put the safari nut launcher away. But this is really fantastic. All right, all of the giraffes. Giraffes, please tell me you're not going down the, ca the cliff chasm. Okay, no, that's over here. Whew, okay, yeah, they can't go over there. Good, look at this. This is so cool. They really do like the tall trees. So let's go see if we can get some ostrich and those will be the final things that I'll really wanna add in to this particular area um, for now. Cause we do need to get zebras and we do need to get elephants, but I think we might have to go on an expedition in search of those animals. <gasps> yes, and I got another termite mound when we were walking past the termites. Fantastic, I'm gonna add it in over here. All right, there we go. Termite mounds look really awesome. And we do get more termite mounds whenever we walk by the gigantic termite mound because that thing actually spreads off smaller colonies that will go and spread throughout the rest of our safari zone. Oh, this is wonderful. This is just wonderful, fantastic. All right, let's go get some of the ostrich eggs and then we can come back and we'll actually be freed up a little bit to start working on the paths for the area. We'll start working on those lookouts. We'll start working on the camping area. Oh gosh, it's gonna take me a minute to actually walk all the way back here. Maybe I should have taken the teleporter, but you never know what you're gonna find. So far, we've continually found a whole bunch of the uh, little escaped capybara when we run this way. There we go. And really, it is a gorgeous view. I have to admit, this is quite a lovely place. Oh, and it reminds me, I am carrying around a jaguar somewhere in my pockets, uh, right over here, actually. And so we can leave the jaguar over at the jungle zookeeper shed. It's really not big enough to call a zookeeper station. Oh, did that bunny just appear out of nowhere? Oh gosh, now it's raining. You know what, little bun bun? I'm making a little bunny delivery like service to take to a certain somebody who really loves bunnies. Hey, hey bunny. Hey, come back. All right, I promise that this will be, this will be a good life for you, bunny. This jungle is suit, oh dear. Oh my. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we just, we just got ourselves a bunny, guys. I didn't mean to get you as a little, the little bun bun and now it's tamed and now I can't do anything with it. <laughs> oh dear. All right, well, we just got Odir the bunny and it's gonna be jumping around inside of the jungle. I'll have to come back because I don't have an amulet. Once you tame a Mo Creatures rabbit, you can only catch them with a pet amulet. And I suppose that's my, that's my bunny now. I might have to make a little bunny hutch for it somewhere. Oh, Lily, we'll have to work on that. All right, so let's keep going. We're gonna go get ostrich eggs and we are gonna see if we can hatch up some ostrich eggs inside of my overall gigantic safari exhibit. And we'll be building some camping grounds. We'll be building some, let's see, solid bars. Oh gosh, I need to get the information panels up for it and everything. Oh, and our tigers. Thank you guys so much for all the amazing suggestions and ideas for what to do with all of our tigers. I think a lot of you guys are right on the money with saying we not only should expand the tiger exhibit and make the national park, but giving the tigers away to some of the other zoo crafters would definitely be a great move and hopefully give them some really fantastic exhibits to build too. Who knows, maybe we can even start some sort of breeding exchange program. Speaking of jungle-based big cats, let's also wiggle over here and I am going to put away the, not the bunny, where's the jaguar? Let's see. I'm gonna put away the jaguar and now I know I have him to go ahead and add in to this area once we are ready. Um, though I guess he should go in the stasis chamber instead of just inside of a chest like this. Probably actually, uh, but you know what? I need to have like a miniature stasis chamber. So the big stasis chamber is kind of like for unsorted animals. So I probably need to make a smaller cryogenics lab, just a miniature version, maybe even a chest that could contain some ice and then hold all of those creatures on ice inside of the safari nets until we are ready to add them into their appropriate area. But putting them all the way in the house and then having to bring them back out to the jungle seems like a little bit of a stretch to me. Whew. All right, let's slow down by the fish for just a second. We'll go ahead and snag something to eat. I'm thinking these old baked beans, actually, just so we can clear them up. There we go. Some of the old baked beans, maybe a nice little apple. Nice semi-healthy meal there. I have a whole stack of cookies I haven't even started pecking away at. And let's grab the ostrich eggs out of the Egg Research Center, the Egg Gathering Grove, the Urology Research Spot. And we should have some really good ostrich eggs hiding in here somewhere. There's snake eggs. 
Komodo dragon, dark snake egg, python egg, spotted snake egg. I guess we could release a couple snakes into the safari exhibit. That would be really cool. We'll try to go for some non-venomous species, but I think that would be a good idea. Uh, maybe, oh, vultures! Why didn't I think of vultures? Those would be so cool to have inside of there. Yes, we're definitely adding some vultures in. Parrots, kiwi, magpie, pigeons. Let's see, owl, cassowary, a different kind of environment than what we're going for right now, though also really cool. I don't see any ostrich eggs just yet. Let's see. Oh my, here's an ostrich egg. So we have an ostrich egg right here. Do I only have one ostrich egg? I have a whole bunch of vulture eggs actually, so I think we may be about to add in a ton of vultures. <laughs> a ton of vultures, how do I have so many vulture eggs? So we may be adding a ton of vultures into our safari zone instead of a whole bunch of ostriches because it appears Oh my gosh, how do I have so many vulture eggs? I have no idea actually and a ton of pelican eggs. When did I get so many pelican eggs? I really don't remember ever running into a pelican, so this is gonna be very interesting. We do have two unidentified eggs that could possibly turn out to be an ostrich egg, but it looks like we only have the one ostrich egg. So let's grab the blaze powder, and we are going to oh so very gently take this ostrich egg and rub the blaze powder on it to warm it up, and that will give us a 50% chance of spawning an ostrich. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with some of the vulture eggs. I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I just used up all my blaze powder. I have one blaze rod. Let's go ahead and see. Hello everyone, my blaze chickens! We have some very special blaze chickens that we actually got as an Easter egg reward many an Easter ago. Actually, I think it was just one Easter ago. And they actually lay blaze powder, which is very useful for our purposes. Holy moly, they've laid a lot of it. I'm fine. We have plenty of blaze powder. Good job, everybody. I'm very proud of you, Flare. Keep it up. Keep it up, Firecracker. Keep it up, Blaze Feather. I hope you guys will do well. I need to bring you some blaze rods and make sure to breed you guys up again. I think you're like the only blaze chickens in the entire world, quite literally. So I need to make sure we keep them going. All right, so let's see. Blaze powder, vulture eggs. Now we have a 50% chance of spawning a vulture from this stack. 10% from this. Wonderful! Wow, that blaze powder is so useful. All right, so apparently our safari zone is gonna be full of vultures. Maybe too many vultures. We might have to adopt out the vultures. That's kind of an interesting thing to offer some of the other zoo crafters. Hey, would you guys like a whole bunch of vultures in your yard? There we go, but this is gonna be so fun to hatch these eggs open and see if we get lucky with being able, almost there, there we go, with being able to enjoy some of the animals showing up. All right, let's leave some of the blaze powder behind. Definitely need to sort these eggs out in the future. For now though, I'm going to say a quick hello to all of my magpies and everybody else. Close the research center doors. And we're going to run our way back over. In fact, I have some good safari nuts, so we're gonna teleport our way once we work our way to the teleporter back over to the safari zone and hatch these eggs up. Oh, Tate left a little fish here for me. Gosh, she's so cute. I don't know how he keeps fishing from the rain. That's pretty darn impressive if you ask me. All right, let's wiggle this way. Oh, goodness, glory gracious. If ever I needed some motivation, Amber, get back in there. Amber, no, Amber, how? If ever I needed motivation to really work on getting more tiger expansions, this would be it. I don't think this is... Th maybe the bamboo isn't as strong as I thought. I think it's holding them in, but I definitely need to start thinking about maybe sharing my wealth of tigers with some other people too. I don't think that's going to hold them in forever. Alright, so let's come over to the jungle teleporter. As usual, it is raining in our jungle. And let me grab a couple of the safari nuts. Lily! Lily Tate! Tate, yeah! Oh, thank you! I just fed you a fish and then you give me another one! Good boy! Alright, we'll put Tate away. Let's grab Lily. Lily girl! Lily girl! Oh, hey Lily! I think she's very worried about security matters. Honestly, I don't blame her. I'm a little bit worried too. Amber, for crying out loud! No, she's inside the fence, I guess. Oh gosh, because I can't catch her. So she must be inside the fence. That's just really... Maybe if I get in here for just a second. But all right, scooch over. Amber, you're gonna alarm the guest if you like phase through the wall, please. There's so many Ambers. <laughs> please tell me you didn't end up having more babies. That would be a little bit, a little bit much. All right, let's scooch you over here. Definitely need to take care of my tiger issues pretty soon. 
Definitely need to look into my mail pretty soon. It's just been very busy. I've been traveling a lot, you guys, but don't worry. We'll be settling in, hopefully having some time to work with the other zoo crafters, do some, do some wonderful streams to be able to open up my mail I have over there and the mail in real life. And there's a lot of projects planned, and I'm going to be so happy when we can catch our breath. But for now, let's go hatch some vulture eggs. All right, so let's teleport over to the safari zone. Woo! And the teleporter worked! Fantastic! All right, and we're going to pop over here, and we're going to start hatching some eggs. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to leave Lily and Tate in here just so that they are not too terribly alarmed by the things we are about to do. It's a little dark in here, so I should probably put in a torch or something. In fact, I wonder if there would be a good torch to chisel for this particular room for our nice little our nice little safari zookeeper spot i wonder if there's a good torch we could chisel you can actually chisel torches which i think is pretty cool um maybe actually this little light bulb that seems kind of fun maybe maybe that little light bulb that actually is kind of appealing so let me see and then put it right over there it it kind of has that rustic sense to it doesn't it and can I still open this? I can. I kind of like that. And I never use that light bulb. But it sort of feels like you're out in the middle of nowhere and you just have like just a teensy bit of electricity enough to run a single light bulb. I really like it. All right. So we'll leave that. And Lily, Tate, you two stay here. I'll try to give you a little dog bed actually because I've been meaning to make them a dog bed for a long time now. And let's see. That needs some planks and some wool. Thankfully, we have a little bit of wool to spare from all of the awesome sheep that we're working with. And let's get the jungle wood planks. That seems like the perfect thing. And then we'll go ahead and put those away. All right, Lily Tate, I'm going to leave you with a dog bed right over here. So you guys be good. Lily, be good. Have some peanut butter chews. There you go. There you go. I'm going to put those away. And let's go see if we're lucky enough to hatch the vultures. Oh, and look at all the trees having grown in. <gasps> Well, what the heck was that? Who knows? All right, so we're good again. Hello, little wild hog. Oh, this is fantastic, guys. This is what I've always wanted, to be able to build up a big area with multiple animals running around that'll just inspire so much curiosity and hopefully make you guys want to wonder, what are you looking at? Look at the little informational signs that we'll build, talk to the zookeepers that we will be adding in, and just really get a glimpse of what our amazing world has out there. So, amongst the many amazing things out there in the world include some vultures. So let's go ahead and see if we can hatch up some baby vultures. All right, eggshell. <gasps> Baby vulture! Look at the little one. Oh my gosh, this is precious. This is amazing. All right. Oh, two vultures. Two vultures. They're perfect. They're they're custodians of the savanna. They're going to make sure everything stays nice and tidy. Three vultures. This is awesome. Four vultures. I don't know how many vultures I actually need. Maybe we'll stop at like 12 vultures. All right, five. Six. I guess we need names for these guys. Seven. Okay. Eight. Wow, there, there's actually a lot of them now. Nine. I think we'll stop at twelve. Ten. Alright. Alright. Oh! I'm a proud mama! I'm a proud mama of triplet baby vultures! Well, this is a good thing. This is a this is a wonderful thing. They're going to be very, very important to helping to keep the entire ecosystem nice and balanced by cleaning up after um, anything that uh, might need to be, uh, you know, tidied up that has possibly passed away. Wow. That was that was pretty amazing. I can't believe I just got three babies out of one vulture egg. So that was really cool. We're going to just uh, maybe not add more vultures in for a little bit because it does look fairly ominous. <gasps> but you know what? We should add in some divinced bones. Oh, that would look awesome. Make a whole bunch of divincing pieces of bones and just like scatter them around here and there. That's not really what the savannah is all about. Oh my gosh, there's one of my wild pigs escaping. How did you get over there? Oh, golly. Oh my goodness. What? What? And there is a domestic brethren of yours right down here. What is happening? All right, clearly we have a little bit of um a little bit of uh, quality control to do within our zoo, but we're we've got this. We've got this. As long as that giraffe doesn't escape over that direction, then we've got this. All right, looks like everything's good there. Oh, hello. Hello. 
Oh, look at Fancy! I love when they have names because you can really see so much of their personality develop. Let's go get the wild hog that is currently escaping. I worked so hard to get that guy. At least I have another one of the normal pigs to be able to exchange. Lily Tate, nothing to be alarmed about. Nothing to be alarmed about. I should probably make a double gate to make sure nobody sneaks through the zookeeper station too. All right, let's just climb our way up the cliffside. We're doing this, you guys. And then once we return this wild pig back to the safari exhibit, where did it go? Where did it go? What the heck is this sign? I put this here a long time ago. Safari bug grub station and bug garden. Ooh, what a good idea. All right. And then we're going to come down here. We're going to grab our wild pig. And I guess we could take just a moment to admire the safari zone from this side. Because this is still pretty amazing, despite the never-ending rain that always seems to happen in our world. All right, so we've got a little vulture over here. I'm going to go ahead and put down the pig here. And let us wrap up, my friends, by adding in the last of the animals we might possibly see here in our beautiful, beautiful safari zone. And that is going to be the 50-50 chance to see if this gigantic egg within my hands is going to hatch into an amazing ostrich. And if it does, it will be our very first ostrich and it need a very special name to be part of our big safari zone. And if it doesn't, then we are about to set out on an expedition that will last who knows how long to hopefully search out and find some elephants as well as being able to find some zebra and possibly more ostrich and maybe even the rhinos. How did I forget we have rhinos now? I did. I forgot we had rhinos now but we do have rhinos now. Oh my goodness. You know what? This felt like a huge open space that we could add so many animals into, but the more we work on it, the smaller it's beginning to feel already. But this is pretty awesome. And I think the only way that people will really get a great grasp of just how vast this area is and how many animals will be within it is definitely going to be by adding in that Jeep tour. So that should be pretty fun too. All right. Are we going to get a baby ostrich? It's the moment of truth. It's a rainy day. But life can be hard, especially out on the safari. So let's see. Are we going to be lucky enough? Ah, phooey. All right. So we were not lucky enough for an ostrich. But that just adds another awesome animal to keep our eyes out for while, um, while we're out on our expedition. So I think we're going to prepare for our expedition. We're going to go and we are going to meet and greet once more with Sunflower and Astro Seed. It's been a long time since we've seen my flying chocobo. And we will fly them, one of them at least, off into the far, far reaches, searching for elephants, zebra, ostriches, rhinos, and possibly quite a few interesting places plants to add in to our safari zone. Also, I want to search for some mine shafts so that we can gather up a whole bunch of the rails already completed, ready to go, ready to slap down over here and make a big, beautiful Jeep tour with. We're really making this happen. We're doing it, you guys. We're doing it. Now let's just make sure we keep the animals alive and happy. Whew, that's not too much to ask, right? <gasps> oh, escaped giraffe. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Escaped giraffe. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you. That was very rude timing. I was just trying to do a little bit of crowing about how good we're doing. And then and then you escape. This is going to make things interesting. No more treat. No more treat. Bad treat. Bad treat. You're not supposed to let them get out. There's dangerous things like raccoons out there. <sighs> okay. This might be a little trickier than I thought. But we will make it manage. We will manage it even. We will make it work. Things will happen, and they will be good things, and not repeats of our, our poor black bear. See, the skies are parting, and everything should hopefully be okay. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.